Hey everyone! Welcome to your RCDD certification practice test. In this video, I'm going to ask you real style practice questions, just like the ones you'll face on the exam. Here's how it works, I'll read the question, then the options. You'll get 20 seconds to think and lock in your answer. After the timer, I'll reveal the correct answer and give a quick explanation. So grab a pen and paper, let's dive right in. Question 1. Which is an advantage of stranded conductors over solid conductors? A. Less costly. B. Simpler terminations. C. Better high-frequency performance. D. More flexible. Alright, take your time, about 20 seconds, and lock in your answer. Okay, pens down. Let's see the correct answer. Correct answer, D, more flexible. Explanation, stranded conductors are made of multiple thin wires twisted together, which makes them more flexible than solid conductors. This flexibility is useful for installations where the cable needs to bend or move without breaking. Question 2. Which electrical characteristic is displayed with the correct preferred value? A. Dielectric constant, high value. B. Dielectric strength, high value. C. Dissipation factor, low value. D. Insulation resistance, high value. Think carefully, your 20 seconds start. Now. That's time. Let's check the correct choice. Correct answer B. Dielectric strength, high value. Explanation Dielectric strength is the ability of insulation to resist voltage without failure. A higher value means the insulation can handle more voltage safely, which is always preferred for cable reliability. Question 3 Which of the following correctly lists the lowest frequency band to the highest frequency band? A. MF, HF, VHF, UHF. B. UHF, VHF, HF, MF. C. HF, MF, UHF, VHF. D. VHF, UHF, MF, HF. Alright, lock in your answer, you've got about 20 seconds. up, let's reveal the right one. Correct answer, A, MF, HF, VHF, UHF. Explanation, this is the correct order from the lowest to the highest frequency bands used in communication systems, medium frequency, MF, high frequency, HF, very high frequency, VHF, and ultra high frequency, UHF. Question 4. You must place a cable between two equipment locations with separate grounds having a potential difference between them of 2.1 VRMS. Which one of the following cables should not be used? A. Multimode. B. Single mode. C. UTP. D. STP. Got your thinking cap on? The clock's ticking. 20 seconds. <laughs> Let's see the answer. Correct answer, D, STP. Explanation, STP cables have a metal shield that can create unwanted current flow, ground loops, if two connected devices have different ground potentials. UTP or fiber is safer in this type of situation. Question 5. 
Which of the following is not a form of signal coupling between two circuits? A. Conductive. B. Inductive. C. Reactive. D. Capacitive. Okay, pause and pick your best guess. 20 seconds start now. Done? Let's check the correct one. Correct answer, C, reactive. Explanation, conductive, inductive, and capacitive are real way signals can transfer between circuits. Reactive isn't a coupling method, it refers to electrical properties like resistance, not signal transfer. Question 6. You must extend a video system's backbone coax cable that was recently installed. Which of the following coaxial cable types would provide the best performance for both analog and digital video? A. Series 6 B. Series 11 C. RG16 D. RG59 Last one, take your 20 seconds and lock your answer. And the answer is... Correct answer, B, Series 11. Explanation, Series 11, or RG11, has lower signal loss over long distances compared to other coax types. This makes it ideal for extending both analog and digital video backbone cables with better performance. And that wraps up your RCDD practice test. How many did you get right? Let me know in the comments. If this helped you, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more practice and I'll see you in the next session. Good luck with your RCDD journey, you've got this.